Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna share with you a time child for Bricks Builder, which you can download for free on my uh, GitHub page. I will put the link on the description box below. So uh, the plan is. I will update the custom element to this rep repository so you can easily uh, use the file for your project. The first element I made is a thumbnail grid with expanding preview which you can read on teampanels.net so the the result will be like this it's uh, good to showcase your portfolio or um, your previous project or your upcoming project something like that Uh, the first thing is uh, go to my github page and just download the zip file so you will see something like this the brick child master dot zip and start download then uh, copy the file into your times folder so this is my wordpress folder installation w go to the wp content folder go to the times folder and you will find and you will uh, upload or pass the file to this folder see like this and let me delete my previous stem child folder oops hmm they said i opened the file with my i don't know which software i use but uh you will see uh, the folder and there are a file which you can open and learn something uh, from that file I created there is folder assets to uh, to sort the CSS and JavaScript file so I can easily edit leather and this is for my uh, element file php and this is the function dot, uh, dot php as usual and don't forget uh, you need to rename the folder to, to bricks child like this because you will if you uh, extract the zip file you will have a folder with here brick side master so just just delete the master uh, words like this something like that and let's go to our builder and activate the brick child time and let's uh let's add a new page and see our uh, new element which uh, you get from the temp child sample let's add it with bricks I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna close this. 
okay that in the custom category element you will see the grid expanded element so let's add a section container and I'm gonna add the element to this container grid expanded and uh, this element has a repeater control type so you can add or remove uh, each uh, item as uh, however you like uh, let's see I'm gonna add this first image I'm gonna set to 600 pixel I'm gonna create a title something like my portfolio a so this is the description of my portfolio um, let's add a lorem ipsum dummy text and then let's add a button text uh, fill the website and link type to external URL and this link uh, I will put on my website portfolio A uh, let's just copy this and open a new tab Okay, and let's add another item for our grid. Let's create a title, my portfolio B, and the content. Oops. Add text view. The, since this is a uh, maybe uh, a logo uh, view the logo <coughs> and put the link maybe you, if you have the page for the internal page uh, for the detail of the portfolio let's add that maybe on my account let's save and I'm gonna duplicate this to make uh, the video shorter one two three four five six seven let make let's make it ten eight nine oops Ten. right let's save and let's see the result here we have a grid item and if uh, I click one of the item it will show the content with a nice animation reveal let's create let's see let's see let's and let's see the mobile uh, let's see the mobile let's see how the look in mobile device okay it's my my header my sticky header this is messy yeah i should uh, let's let, okay let's 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 uh make it top zero something like this okay mm. so this is my portfolio a this is my portfolio a where is my portfolio b Okay, this is my portfolio B. This is 
my portfolio C. Yeah, the overall the overflow is hidden and the height is set to uh, fix uh, 60 six, uh, to 500 pixel I think if I'm not mistake right here you can ch uh, customize uh, uh, for right now uh, there is no customize uh, option uh, on the element uh, let's go back to our builder see you cannot you can you cannot customize anything because I uh, I have not added the control to customize the design of uh, each element but uh, here you can customize the CSS file on the brick child go to asset folder go to CSS and go to grid expanded.css if you wanna customize the script uh, you can go to the javascript folder and find the grid expanded javascript or uh, you can override the style by add some CSS here on or on the setting uh, wait. or on the setting uh, you can find the custom code tab and you can override the style here you can do uh, uh, however you think uh, it easy for you hmm. I think that's all for today if you have any question or suggestion uh, you can write on my github uh, page the repository page or you can write the comments uh, on the comment box below or you can find me on the facebook uh, you can see the, the link on the description of the video and uh, i will update uh, or added a new element uh, on the weekend i think uh, so uh, thank you for watching uh, and happy coding